Hey everyone, what's going on? This is not a review video, despite uh, this sitting here in front of the camera. I just wanted to show you something that I ordered incorrectly from uh, not paying enough attention. So I recently bought a whole bunch of multimeters in the last week or two um, to do some reviews and stuff on, and basically wanted to get, for this specific case, I wanted to get X-Tech's cheapest true RMS multimeter, and so, as you can see, it's true RMS and it's an X Tech, so you might think that you know you might ask what's wrong. Well, it is their cheapest one of true RMS. What I didn't realize is that they actually make manual ranging multimeters with true RMS. I honestly had no idea, and I don't know what the point is because on Tech Equipment Depot this is fifty one dollars, and then the basically the cheapest model is true rms and has auto ranging the ex430 you can get on amazon for 57 so six more dollars gets you basically the same dc accuracy and all that only it's auto ranging it adds capacitance check and uh, frequency check and i believe it adds relative and i don't know if it adds min max but those are all things this doesn't have it just just does ACDC volts, current, uh, resistance, uh, diode continuity, and temperature. I mean, it does, you could still use this for electronics, don't get me wrong. It's true RMS, it has a millivolt range, it'll do microamps, so it's not a bad meter. If it had, if it had auto, if it had auto ranging and it were $40 or maybe $35, this would be a great meter for people who are uh, on a tight budget, who are wanting to do electronics work. But that being said, there's no reason in the year 2015 that you should get a multimeter in this price range with manual ranging. That's just silly. I don't even know why this exists. Now, I thought this might be a one-off. I hopped onto the old Googles and I found out that BK Precision and some other companies also make true RMS meters that are manual. So, yeah, blew my mind. I, I had no idea and I still don't understand why. Now, I checked their MSRP. Uh, MSRP for this is around $75, and then the EX430 uh, MSRP on XTEC's website said $95. So they're $20 apart, but in this case, the cheapest I could find it was Tech Equipment Depot, $51. Bucks. EX430 was on Amazon for uh, $57, and I already ordered it. It was Prime and everything. Free shipping, it'll be here in two days. So, uh, yeah, there's no point in getting this. I have no, no idea why they even offer true RMS with a manual ranging meter and if honestly if that's the case if this is the only thing you can afford this true RMS just wait one more paycheck add the extra six dollars or whatever in there and then get get the EX430 there's no reason to get this I had to share that I don't know maybe maybe everyone knew this and I've just been hiding under a rock but <sighs> yep I will uh, see you in the next video, and sorry for the lack of any decent videos lately. I've been really busy working on more videos. There will be a whole crap load of videos coming out in the next month, like possibly 10 to 20 within 30 days. So uh, bear with me. <laughs> see ya.